Hello friends, Amaska424, and welcome to Leaf Blower Man. This is Fresh File Ad Free. <coughs> There's going to be plenty of time to talk, so we're just going to get started with the story. Uh, the time doesn't start right away, because it kind of sets up everything, talks about it in the world, you know, leaves fall from trees, and it takes pretty rockin' chick like myself to... Thank you. Oh, that's actually really appreciative. That's a really thoughtful, I should say. Um... Oh, even better. So forget what I said about Leaf Blower Man. Welcome to Leaf Blower Person. This is uh, something they do uh, for all the categories is they change the name permanently in the game into to Leaf Blower Person, unless you delete your save data, which is pretty cool. <coughs> so yeah, good job, Dev. Um, we, like I said, we don't get paperwork word count. This part isn't part of the speed run. Uh, we are going to get started. We always choose the mysterious character. Cause the character is very charactery and mysterious. But with that, we are going to hit the pedal, officially start, and uh, blow leaves away. Um, so yeah, it's, if you've ever played Power Wash Simulator, I've ever seen it. It's very calming, very soothing, and we're you know we're doing our civic duties at like five in the morning, six in the morning, um, angering people in their houses by hitting them with a leaf blower. Uh, thankfully, I didn't wake that person up, which is great. So, as you're blowing away leaves, um, once you get a leaf into the the end goal, the end zone, if you will, uh, it turns a different color, so you already got credit for it, so you don't get to double dip, unfortunately. Oh. I really hope that set of packages, the mailbox, and the fencing wasn't too important. Um... I mean, honestly, with the fence, it really opens up the space. So I personally think we did them a service by moving that stuff out of the way. I, I think they'll, at some point, come to appreciate what I've done. Uh, much like with uh, not trying to blow leaves into a pool. We're going to end up blowing leaves into the pool. It's inevitable. Leaves have a natural magnetism to swimming pools. Um... It's just, it's like the fourth law of physics, really. I'm a scientist, I know. Meanwhile, my graduate professor is uh, probably screaming at the screen right now. But yeah, so this is essentially the ad-free version, so and we don't have to- message from our sponsor. Wait, this is ad-free version. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off! Thanks, Dev. Maybe? Anywho, so yeah, this is the ad-free version. Those ads, in the version with ads, are just silly parody ads that the developer put together, so you don't need to worry about things uh, getting in trouble or whatnot. Uh, pay no attention to this giant ball of leaf. Uh, we're just cleaning up the subway, and I'm pretty sure they appreciated us. Okay, maybe they didn't. We tried. So I guess we just have to deal with this turret. It's pretty simple. It's going to throw bombs at us. Uh, it's very rude. You just shoot the bombs back. Um, <laughs> I will say that uh, that little doggo it is a free DLC. It is a pet doggo. I like bringing him with. It's cute. It's fun. Um, but we're going to get out of the subway because they're probably not happy with us. No. You can hear the message, right? No. I, right? If this is the ad free version. No, we're not going to deal with you. It's ad free for a reason, developer. Anywho, bank heists. We are going to stop crime one leaf blower at a time. It's easier to just put all the money, I almost said leaves, all the money onto one side and create another mega ball of cash and put it right into that spot. So we've fought crime. Yeah, we fight crime in this game. I mean, we are doing our civic duties as a leaf blower person, which I am very thankful for, <coughs> in all honesty. Uh, so this game, or this uh, area, is arguably my least favorite area, because the leaves, bluntly, don't like to behave. You can see there's a batch of them that just kind of got stuck behind those benches, and that's going to happen with so many of these leaves. So when I get close to the leaves, uh, when I get close to the bench, I try to push them downwards and scoop them up 
That way they avoid getting caught and I can get more bang for my leaf block, or bleh, leaf block, leaf block, as I blow them into their endpoint. So here we are just going to finish cleaning up this area. As you can see, you don't have to clear out everything. You just have to clear out the majority of them. So when you get a lot of leaves stuck in a really bad spot, it makes this particular area very difficult to complete in a quick manner. So anyway, oh, a celebration. I wonder what it's about. Excuse you. You can't have a protest for leaf blowing. If I leaf blow you away, it's it's science again. I'm I'm just here to install that knowledge of leaf blowing. Uh, this is arguably my least favorite part right here. It's very RNG dependent based on um, how these bombs behave. I got decent RNG luck. Uh, I think that was like a five bomber there. Again, four shots with the bombs, it's fine. <coughs> There's plot. It doesn't matter. Plot is plot. Where did the developer go? Did you see him go somewhere? Huh. I know, dog. I don't know where he went either. That's all right. We'll figure something out with him. But yeah, so, oops. There we go. Um, anywho, that plot that we skipped, there's leaves on the moon and we are the only qualified leaf blower person to take care of the leaves on the moon. Hopefully I'm selling that. It's, it's the question mark. We are so mysterious, they're gonna send us to the moon. The plot makes sense, right? Didn't think so. Anyway, so this is where ad free and with ads differs. With ads, it creates a specific level that's actually surprisingly tricky to get through. Uh, in the ad free version, the level is gone. It was like, yeah, we're only here to make people watch more ads. We waste time. We're speedrunners, so yeah, we're not missing anything. Yeah, I mean, sure, I agree. Um, yeah. Wait, what do you mean although? We're, we're not missing your less content if you pay. No, we're speedrunners. We're paying for the, but hey, hey, that's rude. Hmm, meanies. Anyway, welcome to the moon. We're gonna start off with a little bit of speed tech here. And instead of blowing the, the moon rocks, the asteroids out of the way like you're supposed to, we're just gonna blow ourselves over them and save a little bit of time. But yeah, so leaves on the moon. More believable than cheese, maybe? Uh, lunar physics is a little bit more wild, so the leaves don't behave anywhere near as much. Um, but now that we have taken care of that, we are going to take care of a Kraken. Yeah, there's Krakens on the moon. Uh, to defeat this Kraken, it's actually pretty straightforward. You have to cover up the holes that I missed, unfortunately. Uh, we're having really bad meteorite luck. I'm gonna try to do this very quickly. Nope, that's unfortunate. All right, we got that one in. And as soon as we cover up the five holes, the Kraken is defeated. Nope, that's not gonna go in. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Now the Kraken is stuck. We've cleaned up the leaves. There's really nothing else I can think of up here. So let's head back to Earth. They're probably really thankful for everything we did. And I'm sure there's nothing wrong that's going on down there. Where did the pickaxes come from? <coughs> How are they holding the pickaxe? These are important questions that don't get answered. Legitimately. 
But it's okay, because now we get to move on to the part where I just get to do a lot of talking. Horde mode. This is an unskippable part. Uh, you have to do story, you have to do horde to unlock horde, you have to do horde to unlock the finale. Now, this part right here, um, the fresh file version is the scariest because you don't get access to the really strong power-ups that you get in uh, the New Game Plus version, like health regen and very specific weapon upgrades. Um, now, between ad-free and with ads, with ads makes this very scary because you only get one power-up per level. You get levels by EXP, you get EXP by the... Uh, green leaves that show up. Now, what makes ad free very, very nice and mitigates a lot of the scariness of the fresh file run is if you want an extra power up, you just have to watch an ad. Ads take time. So, uh, the nice thing is when you're playing the ad free version, you actually don't have to watch the ads. You can just hit down on your D-pad and get a second power-up for free. Uh, so, again, although you don't have access to the really strong power-ups that uh, New Game Plus has, you do get two power-ups instead of one. Now, <coughs> it does get a little scary in the later part of this run, uh, still, because, again, you don't have the really strong weapons. But it's a lot more manageable. Um, because... You have, again, two for the price of one. You see, things start off with the, the dark orange leaves, and eventually they'll be orange or light orange leaves, they'll be yellow leaves. Uh, there are black running leaves or falling, sliding leaves, if you will. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, eventually, the ones with the pickaxes show up. Because, sure, why not? Power-ups I'm looking for are weapon damage, weapon range, uh, specific bonus powers. The um, jump that I just did right there causes an electrical surge around my character, which is really beneficial later on. Um, that blue ring is a frost ring. It's great for kind of keeping things somewhat away from me in very close proximity. Um, a health upgrade would be really nice to have because this is fresh file and it still can get ooh when it's uh, unfortunately in that situation I had to take the the damage ones. Oh, we're gonna take again weapon damage. We're gonna take more projectiles, which is gonna be nice to have. Uh, you'll see I'm now firing off two instead of one missiles. <clears throat> Uh, we are going to try to... Ooh, laser is perfect. Um, that is a really, really nice one to have. Especially with the firing of multiple projectiles. Uh, most I've had is four, which is really nice. You can see things are just starting to clean off the screen very quickly. Uh, especially with the increase of damage I'm doing. Um, it gets very, very nice. Now, at about 3.5, 350, things are going to get a little scary because there's going to be a wall that shows up that will uh, lock me into this area unless I clean out the wall. So, uh, I do want a fast shooter and I will take, I will take the fire. Uh, the more extra power-ups, the better. Especially as you'll see very soon. Uh, it's going to get a little cramped in here. So we'll just have to make do. Uh, do some extra damage with that fire, with that electricity. Grab some power-ups. Um, as you can see, just like that, we do have that ring around us now. Uh, I am going to take damager. I'm going to take double damager, which is fantastic. Because not only am I doing damage to those leaves, I'm also consistently doing damage to the wall. And just like that, I was able to free open an area, which makes things significantly less scary. Because it's called, I have an escape route now. So I'm still going to hover in this area somewhat, because I do want those power-ups. <coughs> Excuse me. 
grab that extra damage is going to be fantastic to my leaf blower. Because now I'm just going to start absolutely mowing through these leaves, which is great. So much so that I can actually head back in here and start clip or picking up a lot of that XP that I had to basically run away from. Uh, you're gonna get movement speed increased. Because even though I do have all of this damage ability, uh, you'll see it's still um, very scary in here. Things are still clogging the map. Um, I do have a little bit of time before I'm completely in the clear. And I can still die very easily. But right now, uh, it is going to start opening up right now because we have made it to five minutes. <laughs> Thank goodness. So now at this point, it is just a matter of I'm trying to pick up as many power-ups as I can, getting my damage upgrades, clearing out all these leaves, um, becoming basically this unstoppable leaf blower person. Uh, you know what? I'll take another projectile and more damage, because why not? We still have about 10 seconds, 8 seconds before the Leaf King shows up. So at this point, I'm going to try to get one more power-up. Well, technically, two more power-ups. There we go. Perfect. All right. And yeah, that double damage is going to be awesome. <clears throat> now... At this point, um, it's pretty much just kill the Leaf Blower King, or the Leaf King, and we're fine. Uh, you can see just how much damage I am absolutely doing to this, this Leaf, uh, staying in close range. Uh, it doesn't attack like that. It's a lot scarier than it appears because only the first bullet does damage. You do have a small bit of iframes in between them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So at this point, We've completed horde mode and now we are on fresh file um or the final section of fresh file ad free now this is where fresh file differs immensely from um the new game plus so in fresh file we have to essentially clean up the mess that was the leaf revolution leaf revolts however you want to call it and uh, to access the final area, you have to get three key cards. And those key cards are blocked by doing various tasks for people. And that's what we're doing right now. This is arguably the longest task. So I like to try to get it done first because there's no avoiding it. We have to clean up this entire park and get rid of pretty much like 98% of the rocks that are in here. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. So the general strategy is to try to keep things as closely bunched as you can uh, but these rocks have a will of their own and they just kind of do their own thing which is unfortunate so the better you can kind of keep things again clumped the faster this segment goes now this gives me time to talk about the difference between ad free which is this version and with ads so the ads have kind of been telling you the actual story of Leaf Blower Man from the developer standpoint. Um, the ads served a purpose in the form of, well, trying to get the developer to make more money. And now that we've disabled ads, um, you would think that's a bad thing for the developer. Well, here's what's kind of funny. The disabling ads DLC is actually a free DLC you can add. There's a couple cosmetic only DLCs that you can include. Uh, this guy is not behaving, so we're just going to throw him that way. Um, thanks, dog. But um, yeah, the disabling ads is completely free. But you do miss out on essentially the plot. Uh, so as you're completing these side quests to get these keys, they're in the with ads version. There'd be little vignettes of the developer basically uh, furious and getting ready to wreck his revenge on you for uh, 
Well, helping the leaves and doing other things. Oh, by the way, that's that's a spoiler. We'll get to that soon enough. It's fine. Anywho, so at this point, we are almost done. Um, you have to get a total point score of, I think, 225. Uh, we're pretty close to that, so we are going to check in with the gentle person that gives us this mission. Uh, we are almost there, so we're just going to clean out these particular ones, and that should be enough. Yep, there we go. One shy. Actually, nope, a couple shy, so that's fine. Like the leaves, uh, once you clear out the area, <laughs> or once you clear that particular area, or that particular rock in that particular area, you can't get credit for it anymore, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. At this point, we are putting out fires for a task that we don't quite know about yet. Uh, there are three tasks, and this is one of them. Specifically, it is putting out 17 fires throughout the area. Um, we just make a loop this way, take care of this area, and with that, we are done with the area. Uh, we can talk to this person here to activate the fire quest. We are at 12, which is where we're supposed to be. <clears throat> here we have this gentleman that wants us to put an end to the leaf revolution and to do that we are actually going to use a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage abuse damage boosting um, and not die right there which would be sad but at this point we are going to settle our score once and for all with the leaves uh, we've defeated their leaf blower king and oh so apparently the new ruler wants peace. I'm fine with that. Uh, so much peace that we are going to death abuse because it's faster to just die right there and get teleported back to the center of the area and talk to this person again. Uh, they've given us an olive branch and we have been given an acorn, if you will, to uh, bring to the leaf nation. Perfect. <clears throat> the damage boost is really nice. It saves a small bit of time, but it's time being saved, and I'm fine with that. So at this point, uh, we have made peace. Don't ask how. We just did. Uh, the tentacles are still mad at us. Kraken is still mad at us. So we are just going to take one more death abuse, head back to the center of the area, and we have four more fires to put out. Uh, there's no nice way to do this particular spot other than come around, uh, set these or put these fires out, drop off these two key cards while we're here. Uh, again, we have three key cards we have to get to activate the final area. And yeah, we can head back and deal with it. Now, again, this is the difference between ad free and with ads. With ads, well, you fight the final boss. That's what we're unlocking, right? With these three key cards? That's not quite the same with the ad-free version. Um, again, there, there's some paid DLC. It's all cosmetic. It's not anything game-changing. Uh, this version is free. Um, be back in a flash. That actually, that room we just walked through... That's the final boss, if you had ads. This area is the ad-free exclusive version. And, oh, it's telling us. Congrats! You did it! You beat the game. And you bought the ad-free version, so just tell the leaves I'm cool with them. We don't have to fight. We're fine. <laughs> That's it. That's, that is time. Um, with the ad-free version, Jacob, the developer, was like, hey, you know, thanks for supporting me anyway. Uh, we don't we don't have to tussle. This is fine. By the way, tell the leaves. They're cool. All of you can be at peace, and uh, you saved us all. So, yeah. Uh, don't mind the existential crises that are happening with some of them. It's fine. They probably just played Final Fantasy X recently. That's my guess. Um, 
we'll just leave them alone. Talk to this person. Uh, they don't want us to end either. And, I mean, the game doesn't want us to end. It says restart. But, you know, I don't follow the rules. I'm a leaf blower. We're just going to exit. And go right back to the main menu. <laughs> Yeah, that is Leaf Blower Man, Leaf, or This Game Blows, aka Leaf Blower Person, This Game Blows. Fresh file, ad free. Um, it's a fun romp. I absolutely enjoy this game, and I hope you enjoyed it too. So, with that, take care.